Hey guys, today's video is all about the Lug Vegan Leather Flyer. So if you want to see what all can fit in this and how it wears on the body and just a review and overview of all the features of this vegan leather flyer, then just keep watching. So here is the vegan leather flyer in this tan color and it has this gorgeous palm lining on the inside, which I'll show you in just a minute. But I decided to pick it up in this tan color because this is not a color that I've seen Love do before. And so this makes it really unique for now. So love how neutral this is and the lining is just so pretty. So the first thing that I wanna tell you is it can be worn three different ways. So the first First way is it can be worn as a shoulder bag so this is one of your wider straps same color as the bag and it's not adjustable so this is the length that it will be and then it also comes with this longer olive green color and you'll see why they have this olive green color in just a moment when you see the lining. So it comes in this olive green with the thinner strap that's adjustable. So this is the strap you would use it for if you wanted to do it crossbody, if you wanted to do it as a belt bag. So it could be used three different ways as a shoulder bag, as a belt bag or as a crossbody bag. But then also when you see it on the body, I'll show you one other way that you could utilize this bag. So let's just go ahead and talk about this stitching detail. This is so pretty. It's like a starburst stitching detail. It's all the way on the front. And then when you turn it around to the back, it's flat right here, but it has that same kind of starburst stitching at the back. So that's really pretty. Makes it really, really nice. Just a lot of detail in this bag. So it's in this beautiful tan color. It's got the cursive logo logo on the front and at first I really don't know if I really care for the olive green color with this I probably would have chosen a different one I really would have liked it which I know they're trying to do all this versatility and stuff but I really would have liked it if the crossbody strap match this. I know that's kind of plain for all of you guys out there and that's kind of how I am sometimes but I really liked I would have really liked if that would have been an option for the crossbody, but this is pretty with it. And you'll see why they did that when you see the lining in just a moment. So in the back, you have the little belt loops, so you can use it as a belt bag too. And so some people may look at this and think that this is a big style bag for a belt bag, but I don't think so. And like I say, later in the video, I'll show you how this looks like on the body as a belt bag. But I wanted to show you this compared to some of the other belt bags that I have. So the pirouette, is, can be used as a belt bag. As you can see, it can be used as a belt bag, but to me, I felt like it was a little bit too big as a belt bag. So I only use this as a crossbody bag, which I love because it's a real slim design and it looks really nice and fits really nicely along the body if you want to wear this as a crossbody. But, but I have never worn this as a belt bag because I think it's too big. So you can see in comparison the height difference on this. And this does have a little bit of a slimmer design than the flower does, but as far as like the height, I just felt like it was too high on the pirouette. So I wanted to show you this in comparison. And then when I sit it side by side, you can see that it's just as wide, but it's not as tall as the pirouette is. And then I wanted to show it to you with the roundabout two. So here's the roundabout two in this blush camo, and you can see that um, it's a little bit taller than the roundabout two. And when I put it in the front of it, it's a little bit wider than the roundabout two as well. So you can see the size comparisons with the flyer to the roundabout two. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So you have this front zipper right here that zips around. And I have my phone in here. So any kind of size phone will fit in there. That actually has an OtterBox cover on it. So you know how thick those are. So that fits in there really nicely. And look at this lining. So this has this really pretty palm lining and this palm is that olive color. So you can see why they've done the olive. It matches with the palm color that's on the inside. So really, really pretty lining. So that is the space that you have in the front. You could put glasses in there, sunglasses or anything like that. But I wanted to put my phone in there to kind of keep it separate from everything that was inside the bag so that I didn't scratch it or anything like that. But it does have this back zipper if you wanted to keep a phone or anything in it and keep sunglasses or anything in that front part or a small wall or anything like that. So let's go ahead and go to the back of this bag. It has this nice zipper in the back. Everything is tonal as far as the zippers go and the it has these little like the vegan leather zipper pulls as well but then it also has the gunmetal zipper part. So your pulls are going to be same as the fabric but your little zipper hardware is going to be the gunmetal along with the little ring on the side too. So this is the back zipper part. And so this area is pretty roomy. It goes the entire length and width except for where the belt loops are at. So it's really nice and roomy. You can fit 
a good amount of stuff in there. And so I just have a coin purse that I put in there. It's really thick too, and it fits really nicely in there. That's just for cr credit cards or gift cards or things like that, that I want to keep in there. So I do have that in the back and you see that the lining is in the back as well. So it is a pretty good size and it opens pretty well. So you can fit a good amount of things in there. And then let's just go to the main part. Now, this is not going to be a bag. If you carry a lot of stuff that you're going to want to use because it doesn't hold a lot of stuff. It is a smaller bag, but it's really a cute bag and I absolutely love this bag and I didn't even mention how soft this is. So I had done a look haul and previously about a vegan leather pacer that I bought in a blue color in the dark blue color the navy color and it had a smell to it. This did not have a smell to it or anything like that and it's just as soft as any of that other vegan leather that I have gotten. So I do really like how soft this is. No smell to it or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and go into the inside of this. And I kind of like how this is kind of hidden. You can't see it from the top. It's kind of hidden a little bit down there. The zipper is. So inside that pretty, pretty palm lining that's inside. And I actually put a Metro in here. I would not put a regular size wallet in here because you couldn't fit much more in there. Like I, tr I did put the tram in there and there wasn't just much room for anything else. And I put the splits XL in there and it basically took up the entire area here for just a little room for everything else. So this does have a built-in wallet, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, so I would probably utilize this, but I did want to show you that this Metro would go in there if you wanted to use the Metro that would go in there. And I really like that pretty color with that. So that's the Rosewood red color. And I think it looks really pretty with this beige. So I kind of wanted to show that to you just to show you how pretty this red and this tan look together. So you can put a Metro in there really well. And I just have some hand sanitizer in there and a little thing of ibuprofen and my sunglasses in there. And that was literally all I was able to fit in here. So that's what I'm saying. I had this packed and you can see how it looked on the side. It was pretty packed in there. I mean, you can fit some more things in there, a few more little things in there if you wanted to, but that took up the majority of the area. So it's not something that you're gonna be able to put a lot of stuff in. It's just gonna be some essentials, some necessities, but it's a really cute style. And um, you're just not going to fit a lot of stuff in here. That's just the honest truth. You're not going to fit a lot in here. It does have this zipper in the back that's a privacy zipper. So you can put some things in there that you want to keep hidden. And then it does have the front of it has the built-in wallet. So it has the large opening for your bills. And then it has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six credit card slots in here. So you have that olive trim on the inside that carries through with the strap as well. So you've got six credit card slots, the long area for your bills, and then you have that back zipper area on the inside. And then that's what it looks like inside. Like I said, I was able to fit the small Metro in here. Look at those colors together. I really am loving these two colors together. So you can fit that Metro in there. Like I said, you can fit the tram in there. You can fit the Splits XL in there, but it doesn't give you much room for anything else in there. If you have the small Splits wallet, that would fit nicely in there with a few other things. But what I would do is I would utilize the wallet when I use this. I just wanted to show you what could fit in there. And so what I'll do is I will utilize the wallet when I use this. That way I can fit my gift cards or credit cards or my little small Metro wallet or sunglasses or things like that in there, but you're just gonna get your bare necessities in there because it is rather small, but it is really a nice bag. And so that's all the features of this bag. It's gonna be short and sweet, really nice stitching detail on it. I do like the way it looks all three ways. And now I'm gonna show you how it wears on the body. Okay, so here is the flyer as a belt bag. And I wanted to show it to you with this jumpsuit because I wanted to show you that this bag can be used dressy, casual, semi-casual, semi-dressy. It's just so versatile. So I wanted to show it to you with this linen blend jumpsuit, which is so great for summertime. You can add on a pair of heels for this for a semi-dressy look or you can wear this with some tennis shoes or flats for a semi-casual look. But I think this looks really good with the, as a belt bag. It's a really good size and it fits really nice around the hip. I am 5'5 for reference, around 145 pounds. So this is how it looks like on me. So I think this is a really great option as a belt bag. And I'm also going to show it to you how it looks as just a shoulder bag and how it looks crossbody as well. So this is the flyer on the body as a belt bag. So someone on 
Facebook asked if the vegan leather fly could be used as a dressy option, and I think it absolutely can. I think it looks really good. My go-to in the past has always been the Allegro for any kind of dressy bag, but I really think that this one could be a dressy option as well. So I'm showing it to you right now as a shoulder bag with a little black dress. Wear this with some heels and have a really elegant look, and this is how it looks as a shoulder bag. So this one does have the wider strap option, and it's not adjustable, so this is how the length is going to be on you. And I think it looks really, really nice as a shoulder bag. And I have found that the wider straps are really nice about resting on your shoulders without having to fall off. Those thinner straps I will usually use as cross body because I don't like the way they sit on my shoulders. But this is really nice and wide, and I think it fits really well on the shoulder, and I think it looks really good as a dressy option. If you wanted to take it a step further, you could actually take off the strap and use it as a clutch. If you wanted to use it as a clutch option, I think that would be cute as well. So you could just use it as a clutch and I think that would look so pretty also as a dressy option. So here it is as a clutch, we wear as a shoulder bag for your dressy option. So here's the flyer as a crossbody option and I really like to have mine just hit right there at the hip. And this is where it's adjusted to. So you can see there's this much more length, so lots more length to adjust it if you're taller or if you like them longer on the body. So this is the thinner olive green strap. If you wanna use a crossbody, that's the strap you'll have to use really do like this as a crossbody bag too and so you can see that i just have a v-neck tee on with a pair of denim cutoffs so you can see that this can be used with all of your casual outfits and then i showed you as a belt bag with some of your semi-dressy or semi-casual looks and then also as the shoulder bag for a dressy look so this is such a great versatile bag love it so here's how it looks from the side as crossbody i do really like the versatility of this bag and how it looks and so this is how it is crossbody. So now you can see how it looks on the body, all three ways that you can wear it, and I think it's a really great versatile bag. So I just put everything back in here so you could just see just those sunglasses and the Metro Wallet and hand sanitizer and some ibuprofen, all the fitting in there. You can see how full it is. So like I said, I just wanted to show you it doesn't have a large capacity in there, but it is really, really nice that you have that built-in wallet so you don't actually have to carry that extra wallet in there. And even if you wanted to put your phone in there, you could put your phone in there that would fit with all the stuff that I have in there as well. I just wanted to keep it separate just to not scratch it or anything like that. But I think this is a really cute bag. I love this tan color. The palm lining inside is so, so beautiful. I love the thick strap for a shoulder strap because I have come to realize that the thicker straps are so much better for shoulder than the thinner. I don't like how they fall off when you've got the thinner straps. I have a tendency to have them just fall off my shoulders. And I do like the crossbody style. I think it looks really good as a crossbody. This can be worn with either dressy items or with casual items as well. So I think this is really versatile in that fact. So love this. It's really super soft. Love, love, love the stitching on this. I think the stitching is just so, so pretty. And so that are those are my final thoughts on the vegan leather flower. So I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope it was helpful to you. I did want to show it to you with a few other belt bags because some people may look at this and think it's a little, rather large for a belt bag. I don't think so. The pirouette, I do think so. This, if it was any larger, would probably not look as good as a belt bag in my opinion, but I think it looks good in this size as a belt bag. And I also showed it to you with the roundabout too as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And also I would love to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.